Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are in Manila right now and I'm going to do a mega car update. We are going to be passing by most of the car shops that have my cars and doing a super update. So I'm pretty happy because the cars in Garage 2233 are finally moving and they're finally running. The car in Titan is also finally running and we're going to visit also Classic Speed and check on some of the cars there. We did swap out the Camaro for the Charger and the Mach 1. The Mach 1 and the Charger are now for sale. The Camaro is back in the, in the farm. And yeah, we're gonna check on the RWB Noah and the other RWB Targa that we're planning to build. And uh, we're gonna go on check our Slant Nose 997 Turbo. And then after that, yes, we're gonna go to Classic Speed tomorrow and check on some of the projects there, the Grand Sport Corvette, the GT40. We ended up buying some fuel pressure sensors so that Leo can program a safety feature in the AEM ECU so that we will save the motor in case we have a fuel lean condition. So today we are in the GT2 RS, which is a new acquisition to the garage, but this car is not brand new with me. It actually already has almost 11,000 kilometers. So I did get it used, but the car is in such good condition. And we drove down this morning and the car is so much fun. It actually is better than the SVJ in so many senses. The car has more room for luggage. The suspension is way better. The gearbox is so much smoother. And overall, it actually doesn't really use that much fuel. The SVJ drinks fuel like it's nobody's business. The V12 really is a powerhouse in terms of drinking gas, unlike this inline six twin turbo 3.6 liter engine producing like 700 horsepower so this car this is such a breeze to drive because we have torque on the lower end of the spectrum and obviously it's a very fast car as you guys very well know this is one of the fastest record holders for the Nürburgring. I'll do another feature for this car on some other build or some other vlog video Okay guys, we just finished talking to Alfredo to get some updates. We have to review the electricals of this car. That's why there's a tester there. There's some electrical gremlins at this point where the car is just draining on its own. Also, I decided to swap the gearbox. If you guys watch the engine rebuild video of this car, we did some conversion to the all-wheel drive gearbox to make it work, but I do have a six-speed G50 that I will swap in this car, which came from Noah. This is why we have the CAE shifter here because it also came from, uh, sorry, that came from Vicky. And then Vicky's old gearbox can go in here because Vicky's gearbox now is a 997 GT2 RS gearbox. So we're gonna upgrade the gearbox to six speed. Stay tuned for that. Over here in the Targa, we have the motor sitting right here. So this motor is actually a 3.6 liter stock rebuild it's an all original motor no tuning no itbs everything stock it's got the fast speed exhaust targa body and we i didn't decide on this color the actually the owner who sadly backed out from the sale has now given the car back to me which means it's my project again so the guys here are really taking their time to redo everything because this car was actually underwater when i bought it in the first year of its existence and lots of work that needs to be done but car looks good after that we do have a rwb kit for this hopefully nakai can travel soon and we can build this car with him so for those of you who follow me this car has been with me for about six years now and we've had to rebuild the motor twice the first shop didn't want to honor the warranty, so I had to send it to Alfredo to properly rebuild it again because they did some shortcuts and it was still smoking after the rebuild. And now Alfredo is detailing it. As you can see, it looks brand new. Everything looks beautiful. We're going to be slapping this in soon so I can return this to my client finally. Okay guys, there you have it. That's the update here in Garage 2233. 
Tomorrow, we are going to be updating the cars at classic speed. And then maybe on Saturday morning, we're going to go to Second Skin and update you guys again with the cars that's also being done there. And then after that, we might pass by Ferrari to check on the F430. Maybe we'll do that now since we have time. And then after that, we're going to go to Titan on Monday to check the 997 Turbo, which is the old new look slant tail with the slant nose with the long tail conversion. So many cars, so many projects, so many shops, not enough time. And hopefully some of these cars will be finished because we do have other car projects that we need to send down from the farm. Okay guys, doing a quick update here in Ferrari. We can't really shoot in here, so I'm kind of sneaking this in. This is the Liberty Walk Kit. It's finally painted and we did wrap the chin in carbon. It's not real carbon, it's just a wrap. We're having issues with the carbon ceramic brakes that I bought. Aside from them being too big, they're actually, the tolerance to the front wheel is basically, it's almost touching. We gotta send this car back to fitment and uh, put the rubber seals in. And then I think we're gonna do a last checkup with the suspension. But so far this car is so much fun to drive because it is a manual. Here's the rear carbon ceramic brakes, as you can see. These aren't Ferrari rotors, they're actually a company in Canada which makes performance rotors equivalent to the Ferrari spec. I actually didn't get to shoot the things I needed to shoot because one of the other customers in Ferrari started talking to me, so I had to put the camera down. But basically, we are asking Brixton if we can shave the inner bolts because it's hitting the calipers for the front. So if we get approval for that, I think we're going to have more clearance because they wanted to put spacers in the front and I told them it's not so ideal because when I built the wheel spec along with the fenders, I know already that we are going to be hitting the front lip or the front tire to the fender lip. So there's no way that we can add a 5mm spacer or 7mm spacer. So I would rather shave the bolts. Hopefully Keith can get back to us by asking Brixton if we are allowed to touch the bolts. I think there shouldn't be any problem as long as we rebalance the front wheels. So yeah. Anyway, right now I'm headed back home and then tomorrow we're headed to Classic Speed so we can do some major updates. We have some very interesting projects happening in Classic Speed that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. We're running a bit late, but we are headed down to Classic Speed already. I'm so excited to show you guys all the projects that we have planned for this year and it's super crazy starting off with the combi. The combi is going to be such an amazing project. We're going to do a sort of safari Baja combi with a Subaru motor. So thank you to Oliver from Fusion R. We ended up buying a Forester turbo engine along with a five-speed gearbox. So we're going to be ordering Subaru gears to convert the gearbox so that we can reverse the system and run it as um, oh yeah, as a rear mounted engine rather than a front mounted engine. Also the Charger and the Mach 1 are now in classic speed for some minor revisions and then we are going to be posting those up for sale. The Camaro as I mentioned is already back in the farm so we're going to be testing that hopefully in the next week or so. And then also checking in on the Grand Sport Corvette and the GT40. So we ended up installing some AEM sensors on both cars to make sure that uh, we were protected during low fuel issues and low oil issues. So hopefully Leo can come by and swing and uh, retune the cars to make sure that these safety features are working and protecting our investments. Um, yeah, but besides that, we are also going to check on some of the things that we need to sell. We have some of the Porsche seats that we need to finish. I have some few orders for that as well. And I think that's about it. So let's enjoy this drive and I'll see you guys again when we get to Classic Speed in about two hours. Finally, in Classic Speed, I'm going to do some quick updates and walk you around the shop and show you guys what's happening here. Lots of things happening. Things are moving finally and I'm so happy because the production is up and running. We also have the updates for the expansion area that we're doing next door, so we do have a lot to cover today. I do have a friend coming also to buy one of my 1UZ motors, so we're gonna go through a lot of the stuff that we moved from Carporn so that we can dispose of most of them. I have a gearbox for an R35 GTR in case anyone needs. It's a 
uh, Sheepdog rated to 1,000 horsepower. All the baskets have been changed. This is a brand new gearbox from the States. It was supposed to be for my R35, but I ended up not continuing with the project. So the gearbox is for sale. I, I will be using the VR motor for a future project, so stay tuned for that. But uh, I did order a new gearbox for that project as well, which is gonna be a sequential system. And, but that's not what this video about today. We're gonna do some updates at classic speed, so let's go. We're starting here in the C6 Corvette. This car has given me problems. We have a huge electrical drain, so we decided to rip out all the electronics to figure out what is shorting the car and figure out if it's the radio, the satellite system, the ABS module, the aircon, one of them. So this C6 will be for sale. It's a C6 with a ZR1 body kit on it from my Manta. ADV1 wheels, LS3 with an Edelbrock supercharger. Engine's running already. It's just that during standby mode, this car drains power. So look for this soon. We're gonna post this soon for sale. This one, I still haven't done work for it. I did order a new ECU for this already and a new wiring harness. So I might actually send this car to the farm and wire it after I wire Vicky. Uh, I do have some orders for these Porsche seats, which I'm happy about. A lot of people are asking if they, we can do a love seat version, and yes, we can. This is a R33 GTR of my friend, and it's almost done. We are just waiting for some parts from him, like the turbo manifold, turbos, and all that. But basically, this is on schedule. It's just that it's so hard to get parts for these cars, and we really have to wait long for them. Porsche 991. This one is uh, my partner's car. We just ordered a fuel system for it, so hopefully all the parts are coming. The engine of this is actually being rebuilt at Garage 2233 since we were there yesterday. And this Datsun is waiting for an engine, so that's not part of the update. Here is the red GT40. What's cool about this car is Everything we've learned from that car, like changing the gauges, adding the side mirror, fixing the fueling, fixing the engine supports, tuning the car, adding some fail-safe sensors, we're actually applying everything here. So this is going to be a more perfect model than that, of course. So pretty excited that this is going to be running soon. I do have a competition carbon body kit coming for that. It's going to be a wide body with some signature wheels. It's going to look so good. This one, no updates on this one. We have a car in the paint booth right now. This one started already, and I think they're still waiting for parts. This is pretty cool. Uh, another Mustang build for a client. This has got a Roush motor, 427. I actually think this is one of my old motors that I had parked on the side. Nice 67 GT500. This one's got the Roush supercharged motor. Super crazy, super big. Roadster shop, front chassis, huge Brembo brakes. Love these cars. Transport Corvette, we're just waiting for Leo to come back and figure out how to add a tune on the rest of the cars. So my GT40 is ready for test drive. We had to change the fuel filter because we were getting restriction in the fueling when we were doing a wide open throttle. So. Hopefully that sorted out. I do have a friend that's here. 240Z here. This one's almost done. Literally doing some finishing work. Wow, that's a small Chevy engine. Like a smaller block, small block. And here is the Dodge Charger. It looks so good, guys. I'm really sad that I want to sell it, but then again, as I said, I don't think I'm ever going to choose this car as the first car to take from the farm to go down to Manila because it is an automatic and I don't like automatics, so... Hopefully, the next buyer will appreciate how much work and love we put into this car. I have lowered the price already, so hopefully, it'll find a new owner soon. Okay guys, this is the project that I was really excited to show you guys. This is my Combi Volkswagen. It's a Type 2 bus, and this is a real steel panel. We got this from one of our suppliers. It's nice and new, and we're basically gonna backdate this onto that. As you guys saw in my Instagram, if you guys follow me, we're also going to install a EJ20 turbo dual overhead cam motor from a Forester and replacing the air-cooled motor right into the back of this thing. So this is a huge project. We got to reinforce the subframe, redo the body panels, obviously take out the rust, update the nose to this, and then we're going to have an awesome rocking project. 
So right now, the guys are measuring to see what are the panels that are gonna fit. We're not complete with how many panels we have for the conversion. But as you can see, this is the newer version and we're going to be backdating it to the older nose version. We're going to try to blend everything together so that we got a hybrid using this chassis but using those panels. And according to my guy, the door of this model is already longer than the previous model. So there's some adjustment and fabrication that's going to happen for sure. But the nice thing with this project is it's not super rusted out. So we're going to have less work input to make this uh, perfectly running Volkswagen bus with a Subaru motor. Hopefully we're going to do a wide body kit for it also. We are going to go a little bit crazy with this build because it is the first of its kind for us and we want it to be a good marketing platform. This is an automatic gearbox. We're gonna get rid of this and put a manual. Definitely gonna keep it turbo. Well, we have to redo a lot of the things here. New gauges, new wiring. Try to keep the original shifter. We're gonna go with bigger, nicer tires. We're gonna push it out. We're gonna do a wide body conversion here. Uh, suspension, I don't know yet what we're gonna do. I wanted to lift it. Everyone's doing lowered combis and I wanted to actually do a race combi. Super excited. Uh, we just recently sold this. We're just finishing it up for the next owner. Okay guys, I finally left Classic Speed and it was such a hectic long day. We did a lot of planning for some of the projects that we're finishing for this year and then obviously some of the projects that we have to finish for our clients. The combi project is not going to go ahead as planned because some of the panels are lacking, which means we need to order some of these panels from the US because I don't have the window panels and the door panels, which means it's going to be an incomplete project. Classic Speed is going to continue though to mount the EJ20 motor in, in at least in the meantime so that we can just get the mechanical side dialed in. And then after that, when we get the rest of the panels, we can complete the rest of the bus. But for now, we're headed down to Manila. I'm not gonna cut the vlog just yet. Tomorrow, we will continue the vlog. We're gonna go to RD in Pasig in the morning to show you guys the Raptor because it's now for sale. It's displayed at Richards. And then after that, we are gonna go to Second Skin to check on the Ferrari Pista because we had to rewrap the nose of the Pista. Also, if you guys are still watching this late in the vlog, you're going to see another new special project that I've picked up this year. and. Bonus if you guys are still watching because I love this car. It's one of the best NA sounding cars as well that's currently on the market. Morning everyone. So we're continuing the vlog. We're finally on the way down to Second Skin so that we can show you guys the new car project that I have. Plus look at the Pista. After that, we're gonna go to AutoCamp to look at the Raptor because I am selling the Raptor. And then after that, we're just going to take a short break because it is Keith's wedding this weekend in Tagaytay. And then on Monday, we're gonna go to Titan. And then probably after that, we're going to end the vlog finally. So as I promised you guys, this is a mega car update of what's happening to some of the cars that are in some of the car shops here in the city. All right guys, we're finally here in Second Skin and we are going to look for the Pista. Where is the Pista? Some amazing cars here. The 458 Misha, Archie's Minty C63. I think that's for sale. And then another Misha. And then I think that's Archie's too. And here's my baby, the Novitec Pista Pilotti alongside a Lamborghini STO. How beautiful. Well, it's that morning. Ganda. Look at that. That's so beautiful. So the Novitec Pista Pilotti is here because the front end just got changed and there's a long story to that. But we gotta wrap the whole front end again just with clear film. This will be done on Tuesday. So this is out on Tuesday back to the farm. Super excited. I missed this car. I actually haven't even put enough kilometers on this car. We got our plate mount already. I always love the G63, although we are selling the Raptor. We are not getting a G63, we got another SUV. It's gonna come end of the year, so I can't reveal it just yet. But this was an option to replace the Raptor. I wonder if Archie's selling that Volkswagen Beetle. Maybe you can take it off his hand. These are some of the bumpers that came from the farm that I sent to Archie so he can use it as decoration. M4 exhaust and the straight pipe is here also. Gave it to Archie for decoration. I wonder if he'll give us the bug. In exchange for all the parts, where is the special car? And there you have it. The 992 GT3 manual. We got the keys. Check out the headlights. Look how beautiful that is. 
with the LED matrix system. So right now the car is here because we are going to get it wrapped. We are going to be changing the black because I'm not a fan of black and then the SVJ is black as well. So we are going to be going with a different color. I don't know if you guys can guess the color that we're going to go with but this car is so beautiful. And the best part is it has three pedals. The new Porsche key, a little sexier, a little longer also. So there's actually no more key slot and they give us this weird thing now, which means that's the key. Oh wow, the clutch pedal is so soft. Unlike the 997 GT3, the clutch pedal is actually so soft. So see we have 78 kilometers on this. Can't wait to drive this. Hopefully this will be done in a week or so, but look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. So beautiful. Cup holder in the center. I don't know why. We got rid of the cup holders over here. This is the racing package, which means we have a roll cage along with the four point harness. Although I might remove the roll cage just so that we can put some more stuff in it. Let's fire her up. Then again, the exhaust mode. And then little revs. Oh, NA Heaven. Sounds so good. This year for me seems to be the year that I am supposed to accept different colors in my life. And yellow and green are one of them. Not a super huge fan of yellow and green, but they are starting to grow on me. So we're gonna go back to normal mode and then just press the exhaust and then give it a small blip. Perhaps still 9,000 RPM. Super excited. Right behind the car is a 992 Turbo S, nice spec, but I can't wait to hear this engine scream. 9,000 RPM from a flat 4 liter 6, this is so cool. So I don't know if you guys can guess the color that we're going to go with. It's going to be super different to my usual color schemes, but I think it's going to look so unique. What do you guys think of the GR Yaris? I've heard some good things and some bad things about it. Although, I don't think I'd ever get one. I tried to place an order for the 400Z. Something I would more appreciate. But this is cool. It's like a modern day Evo rally car-ish setup. Manual, four wheel drive. Nice short wheelbase, wide body. It's got a carbon roof. Super tunable and the proportions look good. I finally left Second Skin and we're now headed down to Autocamp. It's always such a treat to visit Second Skin and check out the car projects there because they do some amazing work. Thank you to Archie and the guys at Second Skin for taking care of our projects. And as you guys saw, we have the 992 GT3 manual, which is gonna get wrapped in a special color. I can't wait to see the final product and drive the car. We also have a JCR exhaust coming for it already because it's going to sound so much better when it has a proper exhaust. Right now we're headed out to AutoCamp and uh, we're gonna check out the Ford Raptor, which is for sale. Do a quick video on it, but if you guys need any cars, please check out our friends in AutoCamp. They've been super helpful with sourcing cars for me and selling cars for me also. So let's go. We finally arrived at AutoCamp and look, GT2 RS and another GT2 RS. This one's in blue though. Do you guys like this spec? I quite like it. Anyway, we're here to see the Raptor, but in between 991, 0.1 GT3 RS in white looks so good. 991 Turbo S 
and 0.2 I guess this is a 0.2 also this looks like a turbo also this is a 997 turbo the 0.2 Aston I don't know which variant this is I'm not a big Aston person oh 992 GT3 in orange lava orange what the hell nice to see a lava orange example of the gt3 okay guys so this is what we're here to see and advertise we are selling the truck we're selling it for 5.850 if you guys are interested please visit autocamp here in pasig anyway let's go over the truck real quick the truck is a 2019 ford rafter f-150 it is a gray market car we did wrap it in a matte film so the black paint underneath is still perfect uh, we're running the fuel can block wheels but on stock diameter so that we can reuse the stock tires front is running a ibach lift kit the rear is running those uh, lift block kits and then we have uh, the rigid fog lights in front velocity ap full exhaust all the way till the back it's got about 7,000 or 8,000 kilometers only most of the mods are here in the back which is the hardcover tailgate along with the boxes inside you guys can see my video on this so sad it's such a great truck but we have another SUV coming sometime this year so I decided to let this go all right guys we are leaving finally hopefully you guys can help support RDY if you guys need some nice cars this is the place to go Hey guys, last day for this vlog, we are going to be taking the GT2 RS down to see Titan. We're going to be checking the old and new 997 Turbo. And after that, we're going to pass by Second Skin again because they are selling the Volkswagen Beetle. And I do want that as another project car. So let's get in the car. We're going to drop off our hard drive and start some edits again with our editor who's back finally from her travels. And then after that, we're just going to go to the farm. So. Today is a short vlog day and yeah, we're just going to finish up all the, I guess, all the updates for this vlog and then wrap it up and hopefully we can edit it soon and get it up online so you guys can see what is happening to all the cars. First mission done, we dropped off the hard drive with Nick. Now we're heading down to Titan. It says we're going to be about 35 minutes out and after that, we're probably going to pass by Second Skin to check out the Volkswagen Beetle. And then before we head home for lunch, we're going to stop by Ferrari to measure hopefully a 599 because I want to order some custom luggage for a 599. And then we'll head to lunch and then we're going to head to Carmona Racetrack so that we can test fit the Sparkle Cup suit for the Miata Cup. So all of that is scheduled today and hopefully the traffic will be kind to us. And we have arrived. Hey guys, so this is the old and new 997 Turbo and it's been such a challenging project to finish. So Tita was just saying that you just need to change the boost controller and add a secondary sensor somewhere and then Toby's gonna retune this car. So ever since we got it out of the car show, it's been such a challenge to get everything sorted and we had some rubbing issues with the kit and then we had issues with the air suspension and then we had issues with the, again the ECU tuning so this car looks so unique it looks so good we are running a Cybex ECU and the Cybex ECU is being tuned by Toby from Malaysia this is running an Alpha AMS kit along with a Klein Inconel exhaust and I'm super excited to get this car finished so that we can send our other projects down to Titan. So Tito was just saying also we needed a clamp and I noticed the air suspension has dropped on the other side so this has to go back to Kyle even before it goes back to the farm. So as you can see here we are aired up a little and over here we are aired down. So definitely this has to go back to Pitman. The front left looks like it's leaking. The rear has some air but the other side is aired up. So Fitman has to double check this. Maybe we'll get the version 3 board as well and then make a false floor so that we can have some trunk space back. Seats are there, the plates are there. Uh, again, the Cybex CCU. And then I just need to get some clamps so that we can finish this and then do a final dyno tune and get this back on the road. We're working on a Lamborghini Urus right now. It's like a major job. Look at the big brakes on this Lamborghini. Those are massive. Probably the biggest brakes I've seen on an SUV. 
bigger than the Porsche Cayenne. Let's take a look at what's happening downstairs. I see they have Ford GT, uh, Porsche Taycan, Nissan GTR, Cayman, Range Rover. I think that's Keith's Lamborghini. Let's go check it out. Sorry, I was mistaken. That is not Keith's Lamborghini. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of Kita's hair, and he actually advised us to get the DSC controller for the 991.2 GT2 RS. It'll help improve the ride, so we're gonna look online for that. We're gonna try to order the parts for the 997 Turbo also, so that we can finish that car, send it to Kyle, fix the air suspension, and after that, hopefully everything's okay and we can take that car out for a spin, because we really haven't promoted it yet. Right now, we're gonna head to Second Skin and check out the Volkswagen Beetle, and then after that, maybe we'll pass by Ferrari to measure the 599 if they have one there, and then we're gonna head home and end the vlog. Been faster in ages. This is the elliptical circle. It's such a huge circle. Checking out the Volkswagen Beetle engine. It's got an aircon. Obviously, it's not a good conversion, but looks like it's a according to Archie, a 1600 single port. It's got paint trim ready. Insulation. Stock exhaust, no rear bumper. Judging from the tail lights, this looks like a 70s Beetle. Yeah, because the round tail lights were the older Beetle na. Uh, paint looks good though. I mean, this is just a lot dirty. <laughs> so Archie said he doesn't fit in here. Yeah, I'm not. I can't fit on the driver's side. I think the steering wheel is hitting my leg. We're about the same height. You just need a smaller steering wheel. Yeah. Got the Herbie interior. Oh, lower dash aircon module. I like the blue and white theme. Looks good. What do you guys think? I think we're gonna get it. Depends what price Archie can get it for us. Another project car. Always. Yeah. Project, project, project. Project after project. Pista getting detailed before the clear wrap. Okay, guys. Archie's letting us out. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Angie. Always. So nice to see your projects all the time. So nice to see your projects all the time. We have a new one here. Yes. Maybe yeah. one day we'll wrap this also. Yeah, but, one. But it's clear film. Na to eh. Keep it as it is. Muna. Yeah. But it's not make it purple. Maybe. Or your new color set. This one. Yeah, that one. Signature colors. Alright. All right, Let Andy. me know on Take the care. Beetle. Archie's going to work on getting the Volkswagen Beetle for us. He said he's going to try to get a lower price. We'll get that project soon. Uh, and the Pista is going to head to the farm tomorrow. And I guess that concludes our vlog for the Mega Car update. We're not gonna go to Ferrari anymore because they said the 599 that was there has uh, gone out already, which means we're gonna close the vlog here. I hope you guys like the Mega Car update, and yeah, I'll update you guys again soon if we have more updates. See you guys in the next video. Peace.